app dot get channel channel name blocks block ID. We have to provide a block ID for getting the block by block number. So here again there is one function get block by block number. Here again we will be getting the same information like getting the client, getting the channel and channel dot query block parse int block so we will be providing the block number here so just execute this from the postman get block by block number yeah here we will fetch information for the block number 4 I think it's available already let's execute this yeah we got this information so just let me minimize this buffer data yeah so here we fetched block block six number Blo here we have fetched six number block and here in we can see the information it's like first one is the header it's having number six the previous block has data hash of this current block next one is the signature payload channel transaction id who is the creator of that transactions data creator again creator of the transaction and just before in the previous video already seen that each transaction have these all the information so in the blocks if we have a multiple transactions these things will be get repeated here like proposal response payload inside it will have read write set and again it there will be endorsing pairs for these uh, there will be endorsements for the each transactions as per the endorsement policy we have two endorsing pairs so majority of the endorsers majority of endorsements is required so that's why there are two endorsements first one is r1 msp second one is the r2 msp that is the peers signatures and one more important thing in each block we will have a metadata where there will be creator block creators identity that is the orderer so msp is orderer msp and we will have a signature of that orderer in case if we have a multiple orderers so who, whoever is creating that blocks he will add that signature into the block and broadcast that block to the all the committing peer you can explore this all the information if you want more information about this you can just go through deep dive into this and one more thing if we have multiple transactions in the block this block this transaction detail will get repetitive means whatever the transactions are there this information will be available available like who is the creator who are the endorsers what are the proposal response payload this information will be repetitive for each transactions but the content would be different for each transactions as per their creator and endorsement policy and and their arguments that's it for this video